Hey, chicken twins, and welcome to the Pre Game Show. Welcome to the next chapter, or the part. And the part I like is this part coming up. So thank you and welcome to every and each and one of you to the PGM show with your host, me, sitting in the chair, looking at you, Peter Gordon McKinnon. How it is such a delight in talking to you and really giving you my take on this wonderful chapter or part. Don't ask me what part it is because I can't count up that high. Now, this part is going to be awesome because I've just played this game again and it's got to be one of my all-time favorite, all-time favoritists games in the entire world. Adventure, action-packed, funny humor, gameplay, storyline that really links it up to each and every one of these games and stories to date. And that is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. So join me again on the PGM show where we get into it. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, one of the most exciting, one of the most groundbreaking for me in my gaming life is this game. It has the enrichedness of storytelling, gameplay which I can play easy and easy enough to get through the bloody game. It provides thrills, spills, and action galore. It just is a beautiful storyline that embarks on completing the whole of Nathan and Elena's story, and Sally's story, and introduces Sam, Nate's brother, and also Rafe as a good baddie in this, brilliant. Uh, and being, um, uh, uh, having, oh, name is slipping out of my mind at the moment. It is Nadine, <laughs> as we go, Nadine, a head of a, 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 a company of, of bad mercenaries that really winds up in the hands of Rafe Sands because money talks more than lo loyalty at this uh, that stage it will get to in the game but really the storyline is just so good so good in fact it makes me cry and the resolution to elena and nate is just pure magic and as to the storytellers who told, who told the story, I gotta applaud them because I, this is why it's, it's such a good game with me and for me and with me because it stays in my mind constantly because it's good storytelling, it's good gameplay. I could just re revolve this as, as a parroting technique that I usually do in my videos, but I cannot say enough. Even a friend of mine, Mark Shabby Geek, said he just got through this game uh, probably a while back, but he loves it as well. Sorry Mark, I don't want to put your words, uh, words into your mouth, but anyway, enough. What I am trying to get at is this is a, just a magnificent game, and I think Nolan North did a brilliant job playing playing Nathan uh, as to mocap because they're all mocap uh, being uh, uh, 
actors doing this on sets, on, on uh, mocap, and uh, providing the action and and giving and these people behind the scenes when they have guns they have to use that their people are putting the props handing them to them when they start the action and uh, taking them back and stuff like this but this time this time you can see the guns on their back and what they're carrying the other games you couldn't see that they when it went into story time or the storyline you couldn't see the guns they had you can but you could but you couldn't see them on their backs as much as you could as to uh, I'm four. if you get what I'm, I'm talking about well uh, go and play it and go and play those games and you'll see the difference anyway what amazes me is the gameplay is such good fun uh, the rock climbing is a little bit more, uh, a lot more better. Uh, it's a lot more smoother in its, its, its uh, playable uh, um, story and outcomes to the first, second, and third. It has uh, graphics and uh, much more better because the, 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 the games, the past one, two, three, were PS3, and I introduced, uh, introduced uh, the, this game to PS4, and then it just got better on and on. And there's still, it's still getting better. I mean, you could, you could say that like um, The Last of Us, uh the the graphics uh, has just gotten better over time and with the ps5s it's uh, they've gone back and rejuvenated it uh as to the graphics uh made the games softer to look at i'm talking about uh, last of us first game making it softer and making it more realistic as to the og sense of the games when they first arrived on all our shores gaming wise but uh ps5 has worked magic and it's it, it gets better and better and better as time moves on and technology moves on that's that's another point it's good and it's better for everybody because it's, it's an interactive feeling Anyway, in my opinion, more interactive here. It, may, it makes you feel that you're in the game. I mean, actually in the game more because of the, the graphics and the, the more of pictures and the, and it, it's just beautiful to watch and see and it just it, it draws you it draws you in more. That's my opinion. But as to the storyline, it is it goes from First, uh, first it goes from meeting Elena, then to going out with Elena, then breaking up with Elena, then reuniting with Elena, and then breaking up with Elena again, and then eventually, really, in the third one, I think Nathan comes to terms with who he is and what his life will involve if he keeps on doing this. And then, in, on, in the fourth one, he is married to Elena, and he's living a life on and working on this JP uh, uh, salvage yard. But before then, we go into the sense of of a prison and meeting the Sam and meeting Rafe as well, I remember that, we we're meeting the bad guy, we don't necessarily know he's a bad guy at the moment, but he he is the bad guy, um, we don't see Nadine as to yet, as, as yet. and then the, 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 the story evolves, because uh, Nathan and Sam always had this plan of hunting down really his late their late mother's plan to hunt down the treasure the pirate's treasure and this is just brilliant 
uh, to me because I love pirate tales. I love pirate finding, I mean, not finding pirate treasures, but I love history on pirates and pirate treasures. And it's just, it just invokes, you know, excitement in me. And having these two genres mixing, which they should, because you've seen this in Indiana Jones and you've seen this in Lara Croft. That, I love these kind of storylines that invokes excitement, that invokes history, even if it's a mythical history. It just invokes fun, and if it's in a game or a good movie, the, the excitement, and you can escape with it, and you can know that, you know, treasure, Ooh, oh, excitement, happiness, happy, happy, joy, joy, things coming to my mind anyway. Okay, so... The fact, the fact is that in this story is that Sam, uh, and when they were younger, uh, um, got into and they break into this old lady's house, which uh, this old lady worked with uh, their mother in the long run because they look at the, look at the artifacts and stuff that this old lady's got in her home and this old lady's dying but the thing is that they find the box which they were looking for her with the mother uh, mother's box and, uh, and things that she has and then uh, uh, Nate finds this, this big book of this uh, um, uh, pirate uh, pirate napping history and then, and then really um uh, after a sense of 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 nearly getting caught by the police because the old lady kind of called the police on these uh, the, 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 the young youths um, and, and breaking entering and breaking into this woman's house and then she finds out that it's the the Morgans uh, uh, and uh, she lowers the gun and then. All kind of hell breaks loose for these young people, try, young young brothers getting away from the police, and then and then the story starts really when uh, this all happens. And I know I know I'm going up and down with ripping this this and that story and getting this and that, but really. What I mean is, 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 is when Nate and Sam are in jail, they are um, really bribing this prison warden to actually find the treasure in this old prison, which is on this um, prison grounds, behind the prison grounds, and what uh, Nate finds and lies to the warden is a a, a, a cross, but it's not Jesus's cross. It, it crosses. It's it's um it's one of the thieves on each side of Jesus. Um, the guest is, I think it is. I think it is. Should now. <laughs> and um and the good thief. Um and then uh, yeah, there's nothing in it. When they find the second one, there is a map in it. But the thing is that uh, Sam gets caught again because he gets bullet holes in his midsection. Sam, uh, sorry, Nate thinks he's dead, um, but he's, he's not. He's well and truly alive. They have to get away. Rafe and, and Nate will scurry away and escape and uh, with distraught feelings of Nate. Thinking his brother's dead because he got shot by the uh, the guards in this prison because they were escaping and uh, because Rafe murdered uh, uh, the warden at this point uh, then all hell breaks loose and the starting begins it's a cool starting as well brilliant brilliant starting uh, cre uh, credits and stuff like that just brilliant uh, uh, and I, I, I just could not get enough of this whole story I mean, that's only a chunk of it, because the other chunk of it is one of my favourite scenes, and there have been many uh, in this whole entire uh, game, this is Thief's End, uh, it's like Elena and Nate's relationship. Uh, it starts off good, and then 
like lies to Elena and then Elena finds out and then she questions all his motives and all his reasonings to uh, Elena nearly walks out on him you know and that's the beauty of it when they get back and reunited to actually save Sam again from Rafe this time uh, they're reuniting of each other their discussion their banter their their, their, their sarcastic remarks to each other when they're off trying to get to Matt out so Sam it's just hilarious the first first off and then second off it's it's like a a, 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 a torture for Nate to say you know she's busting his chops because she says something really funny it takes out a little bit of context and then he's trying to regain her trust back and, and this whole sense of the travel and climbing things and, and everything he's trying to actually reconnect and say sorry in so different different ways of one that didn't work and others they, they've um the Nate's tried to say sorry but they've got to focus on getting Sam back and uh, uh, Nathan ends up ends up uh, in, a, in a room full of these pirates this is a beautiful thing absolutely beautiful thing ends up in this uh, uh, room of uh, pirates dead pirates and it gives a wonderful story a wonderful story of these pirates you know and these uh, poison goblets and and then and then Elena's just staring at her in, in awe, you know, of, 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 of love and saying that you really know your stuff, Nate. And it's amazing, isn't it? And it comes out in that whole beautiful sense of, of wording of this and great story writing. That he's just, let's go and say sorry. And it's just a beautiful moment, absolutely beautiful moment. Um, in in my opinion, anyway, it, it's you have to play it, and you have to. I think you have to play it. I think you. But that's my opinion. I mean, who knows? You might like it. You might not like it. Um, but that's just a beautiful moment that Elena just says that yes, she relents almost in a leveling, uh, level, leveling, leveling, a loving way, and. It's just, oh, just beautiful. Anyway, I could analytically go on, but I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. I've got my eyes crossed. Um, but uh, what can I say is the the immense deepness of this whole game is just beautiful in its making. It's it's the depthness of the whole humor in Nate and Sam and their relationship that it breaks down in, in, in ways that, that you may think that's, that's it for the brothers but no really the, the blood is thicker than the water Nate has to go and rescue Sam all the time because Sam is the older brother he should know better but he doesn't he's really what's the treasure He's been after this treasure all his life. In Sully's case, he's seen the obsessive nature of Nate in all these adventures. And Sully really takes up upon himself to actually call out Sam for saying, why are you dragging Nate into this? And uh, Sam says, well, I haven't got a gun to his head. And then Nate, obsessive nature comes back into it. And that's where another great scene in this is that obsessiveness, where Nate has been lying to Elena because Elena thinks Nate's on this Malaysian job. He's not. He's on, of course, we all know, we've played this and seen this, a story involved that Nate is uh, trying to rescue his brother from 
um, this bad man who is a lie in itself. And uh, all throughout this, again, when Elena gets to know this and know the truth, she's right there in the hotel room where Nathan is just obsessed on getting the treasure, right? And then there's an argument ensues with Sam and Sally at the moment. Now, I know that that's a, also a great piece of writing in this because she calls out Nate for lying to him to nearly her face and she's angry she's upset as she might well be and really a great seeing Nate is so adamant to getting his brother out of trouble and and she's adamant to actually get to get Nate or to get Nate to see what obsessiveness is all about and this could ruin a whole marriage because Nate didn't confide in her for with the truth and it's just a beautiful scene and then Sally Sally tries to help but Nate just shuts him down and goes and goes well if you want to help go and see if Elena is alright. And then uh, Sally then goes off to see how Elena's doing, but you don't see that of course. It's just it's just the anger there, but the frustration as well that Elena's right and Nathan's wrong in this sense. And it, uh, again I'm gonna reiterate it, I'm gonna parrot it. It's just a, it's a beautiful scene. Good scene, one of my all time, another one of my all time favorites on this as well. And that's where you see the, the banter and the tr trying to actually apologize to Elena and get her, you know, uh, her love back and her trust back. And it, it, it gets there, it really gets there. It, it's it's a good, another good little scene that, that they go all through this, this cave of, of, of this pirate, um, risking their lives as well. Uh, that really the whole situation evaporates and the love really conquers it all in this for, for them and they reconcile and they love each other and you know take it from me it's, it's good it's really good it's good storytelling and then you know, i mean not, uh, not uh, it all connects for me i'm trying to i'm <laughs> trying to connect it it all connects that obsession and finding treasure and not getting it an obsession is a killer in this sense yes that, that Sully really wants Nathan to have a relationship with Elena and, and have a good marriage and a good life but doing it in the parameters of legalness not illegally doing it as they were doing and you know doing it in such a way that they can get permits doing it in such a way that they love what they're doing instead of getting into trouble or people be shooting it and killing them and and that, and that kind of resolves really uh, because Nathan realizes yeah it's time for me to go and uh have a life but but do it in a sense because elena buys jp uh salvage unit and uh, and then and then they can do it illegally because not illegally pff, where are we going i'll do it again take two do it legally because you got the pay, uh, permits because old cheeky Sam put uh, gold coins in the land's pocket so they could actually do and buy a P salvage uh, job unit whatever you want to call it salvage barge and uh, do it the right way and she could have her uh, filling business back as well which is really cool 
So it, it really all connects here. Sally goes and works with Sam, uh, and Sam learns the ropes with Sally this time. Uh, then you have the daughter of Nate and Ally doing the adventurous thing as well. And then, because uh, you saw it in the magazines on the wall, and uh, the beachside residence of Nathan and Ally Drake. Drake. Uh, and then uh, they've got a dog <laughs> called, uh, called Sullivan, uh, the female dog called Sullivan, I think. I don't know. Um, and then uh, having a happy life. Um, and then, uh, then you see all these pictures of, of uh, Sam and Sully, uh, you know, and it is, it, they connect because it's family. Then uh, Sully, uh, in this one, that Sully hadn't seen Nate in two years. Two years? Yeah, two years or something like that. Um, might be longer, I don't know. Uh, and, and that's, you know, and then, then you see them, you know, uh, being closer than not seeing them for two years. You know what I mean? You know, it's a, it's a, a big family, a big happy family, really. And that's really, really cool. Really, really nice to see. Really cool to see. Anyway, I could go on for ages. I could babble and go backwards and forwards and parrot and, and do all these fun things and, well, not fun things. Say all these uh, analytic, analytical uh, diatribe on this whole fantastic A Thief's End storyline and gameplay, but it was just exciting. It was just thrilling. It was, it's just happy. It's it makes my day almost when I, you know, when I, I want to play it because when I see it on YouTube or when I hear about it, I just want to say I want to play it again because it's so good. It's one of my favorites, all all time favorites of mine. The whole series, the whole Uncharted series, is, is just brilliant. Even uh, Lost Vegas is great, and it's with Chloe and Nadine, and also Sam is in that one as well. Um, I stayed away from it a wee bit and just concentrated on these ones. But uh, my recommendation, I, and I do have a recommendation, this is a really, really good little franchise. Really good gameplay. Easy enough to actually go through and understand. It's got a through line as well for the storyline. And it's just, a, it's a laugh a minute. It's brilliant. And I cannot get enough of it. And that's it, everybody. But that's it for the games. That's it for the, the parts of the game, the chapters of the games. Uh, next up, next week, uh, it will be, not next week, this week actually, it will be me talking about the, the movie with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. And really, and my, and the, my, uh, and after that, a big, huge sum up of the whole games and the movie itself. So uh, stay tuned for that because it might be a little bit more entailed than this and the other ones. Anyway, ladies and germs, ladies and gentlemen, uh, excuse my sniff. Uh, um, uh, uh, anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, ladies and germs, that is me done on the games and the chapters and the parts that I've forgotten because I can't count up that high. I, I hope, I'm just taking a breath. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have been uh, enjoyed it bringing it to you. Uh, anyway, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Anyway, I love you all. Take care, stay safe. Until next time, I will see you later. this and that what I mean go to this is that I will be doing a full review on this action figure
uh, and story behind it and all the accessories I will search out and uh, uh, give a really in-depth uh, review on Nathan Drake. Isn't that cool? One of my favorite figures. Um, wonder of this so long. I'm searching, I'm really searching and uh, 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 for an, another two NECA figures, I think they are. Um, but that's another story all to get there. And that's The Last of Us, Ali and Joel action figures from NECA, I think. Uh, but they can be really expensive. Anyway, uh, so that's what it's, that's, that's what it's heading to. Uh, the final, the final, final beat of these parts is me uh, doing a great review on Nathan Drake for the Uncharted games. If you get one. Ah, I mean, if you get one, I mean. Okay. All right.